many of you are in Moto 2 achieve to do each look, get rid of the rim light and shading. There is a reason why I hate these two settings. It makes my Vroid model looks ugly. This is me when I first created my Vroid model using Vroid Studio Beta version. Yes. It's ugly, but it is what it is, and I exist. Anyway, after I found out about these two settings, I decided to turn these off. And what do you know, it makes my weird model look a bit decent without this rim light and shading. To this day, I still keep on this small habit of mine whenever I create new Vroid model. But, there is a small exception though, you can still use the rim light and shading in Vroid Studio's devil version, if you know how to use it in the first place. Step 2. Change your Vroid texture. Vroid Studio gave you an option to change the textures to make your Vroid model look different than the other. There are 3 options. Either you draw your own textures in Vroid Studio, but I know some of you don't have any art skills or even have time to do retexture. Second option is to use color calibration where you can change the color of eyes, skin, and hair texture using this color wheel. It's nice and all. But there's another option that I highly recommend for those who just started using Vroid Studio, which is Brute.pn. You have already seen my previous videos where I keep mentioning Brute website. I recommend this Brute website as a place to search for a free VTuber asset such as Vroid Textures. Now remember that you need to log in or sign up in order to use this website. Let's type in Skin Textures. Here you can see lots of real assets available. If you just want to find a specific textures, then you can just edit the search bar right here. Here's the best part. You can change the search setting by using the filters. Reduce the price to 0 yen and submit. And people, that is how you can get real textures for free. These are the textures that are used in this video. Everything that I mentioned in this, I've already put them in the description down below. Step 3. Use available presets. If you don't know how to create a hairstyle, use these presets in Vroid Studio. It saves you lots of time and energy. Use control point to move the hair mesh. Use hair mesh position if you have hard time moving the control point. To shorten control point, press S button. I know not all of you like the default presets, so if you want something different, just go to the website. Anyway, if you want to make the Vroid model look more unique than the other, then do the step 4. Customize your Vroid model. Don't just export your favorite model as it is. Take your time to explore this customized option, you know. People neglected the important part of customization where you can use this sliding tool to make your favorite model appearance look more unique. You can even maximize or minimize this value too. By using this sliding option, you can change your favorite appearance overall to make it more stand out. But if you don't know where to start, I suggest you use my favorite body base. It's free to use and the best of all, you can use this viewer body base for personal and commercial use, but it is optional. Step 5 is to edit your viewer expression. These two also being neglected. I admit I don't like this default expression, especially the happy and surprise face because it's too exaggerated. And here's how to counter it. Use the expression sliding option and reduce it. Not only that, but you can also combine the facial expressions to fit with your viewer model. You've already seen my viewer video time lapse of how I edited blend shifts in Expressions Editor. With these 5 tips that I share with you, I can assure you that your viewer model that you made previously doesn't look like this anymore. But instead, we have this cool looking viewer model that doesn't even look like this was made from viewer studio at all. Even with free viewer model, you too can make this viewer model look expensive with free viewer textures and default presets. Before you export your viewer model, do check out their height because I don't want you to make a mistake like I did in this next video. Keep on watching.